The secret oil and gas investment that consistently earns a 25% or greater return and is completely tax deductible. It's public knowledge that T. Boone Pickens is worth $1.2 billion and is one of Forbes' 400 wealthiest people. T. Boone Pickens gained his wealth in oil and gas investments and is a self-made billionaire. Would you like to be a part of this? Oil and gas is by far the best financial move T. Boone Pickens ever made. It can be for you too. What most Americans don't realize is the opportunity in oil and gas wealth is greater now than ever before. For regular, everyday people, because of a simple secret we are about to reveal, the Dior method of investing. This type of income stream is so profitable that many of the wealthiest families use it. Some investments made as many as 50 years ago are so lucrative that the income streams continue to support entire generations. Large amounts of oil and gas production is developed by small independent oil companies. Not only big companies like ExxonMobil or Shell, there are hundreds of independent oil and gas operators in the U.S. Most people can remember Jed Clampett of the Beverly Hillbillies shooting at some food and up from the ground came bubbling crude. There are millions of stories just like his, only in real life. The National Association of Royalty Owners estimates that more than 12 million Americans receive royalties from oil, gas, and other natural resources. That is almost one in 10 adult Americans making revenue from natural resources. Why not you? Jeff and Pamela from Pennsylvania recently, like so many farmers, were juggling a lot of debt before the oil company came knocking and payments started for them. Payments for Jeff and Pamela range from $8,000 to $35,000 per month. However, getting in on the boom does not mean you have to have oil-rich land. In fact, you don't have to own any land at all. That's right, you don't have to own land in Pennsylvania, Louisiana, North Dakota, Texas, or anywhere to hit an oil and gas jackpot. This opportunity isn't limited to just well-known families or big names either, and it does not require a huge bankroll to get started. It's available to anyone who knows the secret. Pam Cooner, 42, an occupational therapist in Houston, collects about $15,000 a year for a tiny fractional ownership of mineral rights in the Eagleford Shell in South Texas. A landowner will usually get 12.5 to 20% of the mineral rights income from an oil and gas well, often earning in the tens of thousands monthly, and it lasts for decades. As I mentioned, you don't have to own land. The secret is ownership interest in oil and gas production. Sometimes just a few thousand dollars will get one recorded as a part owner in an oil well. Then the big monthly payments begin. Let's say you invest $10,000. Your earnings will usually range from $400 to $1,200 per month. But what is even more amazing about oil is the fact that once an oil well is developed, it is worth eight to ten times what it costs to drill the well. Yes, this means a $10,000 investment will become an asset you own bearing a value of $100,000 overnight. Only in oil and gas is this commonplace. This is one of the best kept secrets in the world, 10 to 1 on an investment immediately. Moreover, oil and gas protects you in ways other investments don't. The fact is, psychology has so much to do with so many investments that bubbles get created. It is actually simple to avoid financial bubbles if one understands why bubbles occur. 
Financial bubbles always occur as a result of an investment frenzy where the investment side of the business exceeds the demand for the product, and bubbles always collapse at some point. To avoid being a victim of the infamous bubble, there is only one safeguard, to have a portion of your investments not in the psychological game. For example, the mortgage bubble of 2008 was caused by more investment capital and mortgage notes than people able to pay the mortgages. It got crazy and the bubble burst. If an industry doesn't have a strong demand for the product coupled with consumers able to afford the product, it is ultimately doomed to become a bubble. If the value of an investment and the growth of an investment is being dictated by other investors' activities, not consumer activities, it's a frenzy, i.e. a bubble. Place your trust in solid, dependable facts. One must be sure the product behind the investment has a market that will assuredly have continuous and strong growth. The public's desire for a product and the public's capability to afford the product is what creates strength. Oil and gas is just such a product. Virtually every plastic, paint, tire, or article of clothing is comprised of oil-based hydrocarbons. 100% of all products are in some way reliant upon oil to exist. The fact remains, no matter what it is, from foods to furnishings, it gets transported using fuel from oil and gas products. The International Energy Agency, IEA, reports that around 2020, the United States could surpass Saudi Arabia as the world's largest oil producer. Close to a billion Chinese citizens are stepping into a modern world. They want lives that include computers, cars, homes, and modern conveniences. And most of those products include plastics produced from oil. There are very few oil fields in China. This means a monstrous population of oil consumers is being created with a need for imported oil. China has grown to be the second largest oil consuming nation next only to the United States. India is also consuming oil at alarming rates. China coupled with India will dwarf America's oil consumption within the next few decades. Last year the United States share was less than 22 percent while China accounted for 11 percent of the world's oil consumption and India is getting close to using 4% of the world's oil. In China, almost every future drop of oil or oil-related goods for manufacturing must be imported, and the OPEC nations cannot come close to filling this demand for oil. The USA has oil reserves and infrastructure in quantities that make it capable of becoming the world's largest oil exporter. In this chart, it shows how China and India are growing in oil consumption at exponential rates. China and India are just two examples of developing countries whose oil consumption is increasing so fast it is challenging to fill the demand. The IEA forecasts that global energy demand, including demand for energy produced by other sources, is likely to rise 35 percent by 2035. All of this tells you oil will be in high demand for as far into the future as one can see. Considering the fact that the U.S. is 15 trillion dollars in debt, much of which is owed to China, it is easy to see why exporting oil is critical to America's financial future. The U.S. wants to fill the world's demand for oil by being the biggest exporter. Currently in the U.S., any investment in oil and gas is 100% tax deductible and 15% of the income from oil is tax free. Unlike oil stock, direct investment in oil rights 
Dior gives you legal rights to ownership in an oil well, much like owning a piece of real estate. Only this real estate pays you every month from oil production, and an oil well lasts several decades. There are oil fields in the USA where 98.9 percent of the wells are successful. This is in large part because of new technology. Just as phones, computers, and cars have advanced, so too has the equipment and imaging technology for oil recovery. We show you how to get started free. Call now, 877-447-7639. That's 877-447-7639.